Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are continuing on with our submarine a little bit more. So, some people have been saying that there's been a little bit of a problem with the, uh, I guess the exhaust. So, the exhaust system that we put in last time is this down here. So, as you guys can see, we use these things. But apparently, after a few minutes, this dies and then it doesn't really work anymore. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to sort out the exhaust. Um, it's just something that we're going to have to do. And the only way that I can think of doing it would be adding another boy. Okay? If we added another boy, um, it would just have to go to the surface. So it wouldn't actually have to go all the way up to the surface. It wouldn't have to be as big as this. And, um, I think it's possible. We could totally do it. It does involve adding another winch, though. I'm sure it's fine. We'll try it. Hey! Okay, so just to start off with though, let's go ahead and jump inside, go downstairs, here we go, continue down, and uh, we'll start it up and get it moving, okay? And then then we'll add another winch. <laughs> there we go. Electrical circuit is on, beautiful. Go to the front. I mean, it would have been much easier if I made a diesel electric, but whatever. You know, I didn't, so never mind. Okay, go out, go ahead and do this, turn that off, turn this off, and clutch in, off we go. Here we go. Good. Uh, so we did add skis last time. We also added these water cannon thingamabobbies to the outside. They don't really help. Um, in fact, they don't really help at all. So I'll probably end up getting rid of those. The ballast tanks, I don't know. In this game, it's really hard to blow out ballast tanks. Quickly. Like, like really quickly. Um, but yeah, we are driving out into the ocean. So that's a good thing. And it seems to be working so far. Let's open up the ballast tanks. Here we go. They're opened up. And we're going to go underneath the water. In case you guys are wondering as well, this is already on the Steam Workshop. But uh, obviously there are a few problems with it. So we're going to try and fix at least a few of them today. Here we go. Let's go ahead and dive down. Yes, here we go. We're diving. Dive, dive, dive. There you go. My little boy is, is bouncing around out there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if we did an exhaust buoy, it wouldn't have to... Um, it wouldn't actually have to ba balance, like, on top of the water. Because exhaust can go out underneath the water. It's just, uh... It can't do it at pressure. At high pressure. So if we add another winch... Which will look weird. You know, it won't look very good. But I'm sure it'll it'll work quite well. Okay, there we go. We're on the, we're on the seabed. It is still running. Alright. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna do it anyway. Okay, so grab the submarine. Here we go. Go ahead and grab the winch, I guess. Yep, we've already got the winch. Fantastic. And uh, because I didn't know what to do with this thing back here, let's just delete it. There we go. Delete this side. Delete this side. And delete a lot of this, I guess? Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. There we go. Delete all of that and put this on there. Um, Like this, I guess. Is that in the middle? Uh, the other thing that I was uh, sort of contemplating would be to add a connector to this. And then put a connector on here and put the exhaust somewhere on here as well. And I suppose that would work. In fact, that would that would work, wouldn't it? I think it would work. Alright, hold on. Delete this. Go backwards like one. There we go. Delete all that and all this. Good. Go ahead and grab a winch. And put it on there. Like so. Good. And then put like a... um. What would it be? What would it be? Fluid. A fluid connector. Yeah. Okay, so if we grab a fluid connector and we put it on there. Uh, where is it? Where Where is the fluid? There it is. <laughs> Alright, just type in a few more letters and then we got it. Alright, cool. So if we shove that on there, good. And then we put one on the back? At the top? On the bottom. On the bottom of this, somewhere, like here. We can go ahead and attach it at the beginning. And then we'll be good to go, I think. Yeah. I think that's fine. Alright, fluid connector could go right there. Go ahead and... Actually... Yeah, that's fine. We just need to give it some electricity and then we're good to go. Yes, and yes. We do need a pipe going up into this. Which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Uh, and we need to delete all of these things. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, or this. We should totally be mirroring. I could have been doing that earlier. Um, and then we need... I guess the pipe could go through here. It could be... Yeah. Wait, what is this? What is this for? I should probably move that. Um, yeah, there's no real places for it to go up. Unless it goes, like, up here. That would work. There we go. Delete that. D 
the le what is this? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, hold on, hold on. Is this an empty cavern? Yeah, it is. All right, doesn't matter. Put that right there. Um, don't mirror it. Good. Bam. We're going downstairs. Okay, so we're gonna go up through there. That seems like a legit idea, maybe. So we'll do it. I was actually really hesitant to begin with as to whether or not I should actually do this kind of thing, but uh, I guess it is a good idea in the end anyway. All right, go ahead and get to there. Delete this one. Wait, is this an empty cavern thing too? What the heck? There's so many of these random things. Okay, right. I didn't realize that was even a thing, but yeah, go up through there, up through the roof. Oh wait, that's that. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, I was gonna say, there is no empty cavern there. Oh, there's not supposed to be. Alright, go backwards, backwards, until we get to, like, the middle of this. There we go, into there. So, we'll go ahead and fill in the areas that we don't really need, like that and that. No, like that and that. There we go, good. And we'll use our pipes all the way along in order to get all the way back there. Okay, so we go like this from here. Backwards. Uh, if we can. Come on. There we go. All the way back to there. Good. And then we need some angled pieces. Uh, which could be enclosed. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We go ahead and shove that on there. Turn it around. Beautiful. Go ahead and put one on there as well. Fantastic. We need one here. <laughs> as well. There we go. Good. And then we need a straight pipe. And that's it. Alright, good. Then they all need to connect together. So we don't need these anymore. We don't need those, but we do need these to connect properly, so let's bring them backwards together. They'll connect together somewhere back here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I want this to come down as well and go to the center. So I'm going to do that first. Here we go. We're going to go like this. That's in the center. And then we're going to go, I guess, down from here. Like this. There we go. And then go down. Bam. Okay, cool. Continue with these things backwards. Uh, yep. Yep. Yippee. There we go. Good. Uh, go ahead and grab an angled piece. Take it inwards. And take it inwards. Ah, uh, oh, not there. All right, a little bit further. Just one more. Bam. All right, good. Now grab an angled piece. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, put that on there. Good. And then boom. There we go. Fantastic. So the exhaust is going to go up. Through the top and out of the top and into this. This is then going to send it into this. And then once that's happened, everybody should be A-OK. -okay. Actually, no, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Uh, because what we've done here is we've just added one of these without actually adding anything anywhere for it to go. So, yeah. We need, like, an angled piece. Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. Unless, actually, delete this. Go ahead and put a straight piece in there. That actually faces the right way. Please? Come on. It just keeps going back to normal. That's weird. Do that. There we go. Good. And add a fluid thing. One of these. A fluid port to the inside of here. And that should work. I think. I think. I don't, I don't really know. But that should just contain one buoy. And the exhaust and the air should come from that. Or, like, come from and go to that. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, right. Logic. Uh, this is where things get a little bit interesting, I suppose. Uh, we need down and up to be on the same ones as the air one. So, down is out. And up is in. I wish they'd changed the names of these. I think they should be out and in rather than up and down. Uh, but that's okay. Connector release. We don't actually need that ever, so we'll just leave it. And yeah, okay. It's gonna be a little bit messy, but I'm sure it'll work. There, hello, Mr. Boat. All right, I'm gonna delete that as well because I don't like it. I don't want it to be there. So uh, yeah, right. Go inside. Okay. Go down the stairs. We need to add some railings and stuff to the outside too. That's just something that I haven't really noticed or done. Okay, out. Fantastic. Turn that off a second. We don't want to do that. We want to go upstairs, we want to grab it, and we want to put it on. Now, maybe I should have two buttons to do that. So we could, like, actually attach it before we get into the sub sometimes. That would work. Okay, go back here. Do, 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 do. Grab it. Grab the doohickey. Take it backwards. There we go. Took it on. Took it on there. There we go, good. Alright, our exhaust is now attached. 
Good. Let's get out of here. If this works, after all this time, I, I should have done this earlier. A lot of you guys were saying add another winch anyway, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Turn it on. Press three. Throttle up. Okay, so it's working. Is the exhaust pumping out there? It is. We might need a filter on it. But at the same time, maybe we don't. I don't know. All right, turn this on. Off we go. Yeah. Now, also, there is an issue that the buoy might get stuck. Possibly. It might, but at the same time, hopefully it doesn't. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, out. Let's extend it out quite a bit. And then we'll open up the ballast tanks and we'll start diving. I just don't want it to flip it over or anything, because that might happen. All right, I feel like I've extended it out enough. We're going to go ahead and start to dive down now. Here we go. Hopefully the exhaust continues to work. It should work as it's, like... Uh... Is the exhaust still pumping? No. Oh... Have we got a pump actually pumping in the air? Do I need a pump pumping out the exhaust? I don't know. Like, where's the air coming in from? The air is this. It's got a valve. It might be that we just need a non-return thing on it. So we can try that. Let's go ahead and put one of those on. All right, delete this. Go ahead and delete this as well and this and this. Okay, delete all of these two. And put these in, straight pieces. Good. And then get one of the filters. Because it might just be that we need a filter. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to do a lot of testing here. Uh, but I'm sure it's okay. There we go. Put that on there. All right. Fantastic. Nice. Um, so if we go to the filter, we don't want to allow water. We can allow pretty much everything else, but that's okay. Uh, no exhaust. All right. There we go. Good. If that doesn't work, we might need a pump. All right, and we can put a pump in. That's fine. Oh, while we're at it, we might as well put a little button here so that we can extend it out just a tiny bit. And actually, it should be for both of them. But here we go, button. We can't we can't have them being different, basically. So I we'll have a little bit of a toggle button. It's gonna go on the buoy itself. That is probably okay. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and do this. Does that get rid of it? It does. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, right. Where does this go to? Which one? The left one or the right one? Alright, I think it goes to the left one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it does. Alright, cool. Uh, so we actually need it to go to out? Yeah. Oh, this needs to go to uh, this. And then this goes to there? Why am I being so dumb? Blah, 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 blah. This goes to there. That's what we need to do. That goes to there. That's all we need. That is it. Okay? That's that's it. That's good. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's try it. I get so confused with things like that. There's no real reason for it. But there we go. Bam, it actually works. It works completely fine. Drag this over the top. Chuck it down there. And we are connected. We're ready to go. Amaze balls. All right, go downstairs. Go ahead and turn on all the lights and stuff like that. I need to sort out that room down there as well. Looks a little bit odd. Also, that looks strange too, but that's fine. Uh, right, run all the way forwards. Jump down here. Turn on all the lights again. There we go. Fantastic. Good. All right, go upstairs and go in here. Turn this on. Press three. Throttle up. Good. Turn the monitors on. Turn this off. Go forwards. Press one. Open up the doors. And out it goes. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm diving. It's not working, is it? The exhaust seems to stop. Right, I'm going to go check on the exhaust. No, wait, it's working. The engine is running sometimes. <laughs> the engine is running sometimes. So the exhaust is probably... Air is a problem? Um, Air shouldn't be a problem. Should it? It definitely shouldn't be a problem. Has putting the exhaust on there made the air a problem? Is it too heavy? Is the connector too heavy for it? And is the air actually compromised somewhere? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. This is weird. Hold on. Start the engine again. The engine does start. Does 
This is very strange. All right, I'm going to go to the back and see what's happening now because the engine is on this time. All right, go to the back. Air and exhaust. Okay, interesting. This is weird. Because it was working completely fine before we added the extra winch. But now that we've added the extra winch, it's not working. Weird. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add a pump to both of the lines. Um, and I guess we'll see if that works, maybe? We'll see. All right, which side is which? In is the skinny end. Okay. In is the skinny end. It's going to be opposite for both of them, but I'm sure that's fine. So one is going to go here. In is the skinny end. So that goes like that. Good. That's the air. And the other one goes the other way around, which is a little bit annoying because it looks a bit weird there. If we bring it down... I guess we could do it down. No, we can't. We can't do it down there. Uh, we could do it here, though. There we go. It won't look too weird this way. Uh, in. Out. This? Is that okay? Is that the way we want it? We want it the opposite to this one. Yeah, that's fine. All right, delete this. Go ahead and put the block back in. Fantastic. And then we need to power them, button them, and let them go. Also, I haven't actually attached these to anything. So whoever said that before, good point. I think they were attached to something before, but then they uh, they must have got detached somehow. Where are the batteries at? We need them to go like straight into the battery. So then we'll do one to this battery, and we'll do one to the other battery, and then we'll have power generation. Also, these aren't attached anymore. It must have been because I deleted something that was attached to them. Anyway, that's okay. Go ahead and attach this to anything. That's good. And attach the other one, which is this one, to anything as well. And then logic them both to number three. Yeah, three is my hotkey for the air supply, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and do that as well. And then I guess that's all I can sort of do. Yeah, all right, let's try it again. Okay, so we jump aboard and we do this. Here we go, extend this out a little bit. Okay, good. There is definitely air still getting in sometimes, so it can't be like a massive problem. Also, if we do start like this, we could just push this off to begin with. And that might be a better choice than... Uh, Leaving it on the boat. I don't know. There we go. Push it in. Whoa! What? Why? Why is it so heavy? Is the connector that bad? That is crazy if that's the case. We're going to have to add like a whole load more floats. Which would suck. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Is that enough floats? I mean, that sucks if we do have to actually do this. Because the connector's too heavy? There's no way the connector's too heavy, right? Maybe it is. Maybe it is too heavy. I don't know. Is the water getting in, maybe? There we go. Connect that on there. And sort of push it off to the side. That should definitely hold it in the in the air, right? It should float. Unless there's a hole in it. There could be a hole in it somewhere. I don't think there is, but there could be. There we go. Keep shoving it. I need to get around the side. There we go. All right. Hold on. Round here. Push! Push! It's so heavy! That is unbelievable! Push it in. Push it all in the water. Go. Go. So the fluid connector idea, I guess, doesn't really work. If it doesn't work, we could get rid of the, the fluid connector and we could just have like a little buoy for, uh, for the exhaust as well. Alright. Uh, that looks dumb. That looks really stu- Right, okay. But we're going to give it a go anyway, right? We might as well. Might as well try it like this. Um, if this is if this does work, then that's okay. But we'll probably end up just detaching it and adding another boy anyway. Um, I did want it to both be on the same one though, so it kind of sucks. Anyway, press 3 and throttle up. There we go. It's working. Good. Let's go ahead and go forwards. Cool. Good. Let's go ahead and winch it out a bit more. And open the ballast tanks. There we go. Winch it out a lot, actually. Keep going out. There we go. The exhaust is definitely still working. That's good. All right, there we go. Stop and go down. Dive, dive, dive. Okay, it's working so far. Working so far. Okay, so the only way that it wouldn't work is if we extended this a lot. I think this is I think this is it. We fixed it. 
We can go wherever we want to now. We can go as deep as we want to because... Well, we could go at 500 meters, but I don't think there is 500 meters deep in this game. So, we can go as deep as the deepest ocean in the game. Which is fantastic. Let's go see our, how our engines are doing. Here we go. We'll run downstairs. Turn on the lights. There we go. Go to the back. Let's have a little look. The exhaust and stuff might be a little bit of a problem. No, it's completely fine. Yeah, we fixed it. Woo! All right, nice. I'm going to upload this uh, fixed version to the workshop now. So it should be updated anyway. And uh, yeah, it actually works. Good job, everybody. Good job. That fix was actually so much easier than I thought it would be. So um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. We need to fix that as well. That is the final final thing that I want to fix. So let's go do it. Let's, let's fix that. Uh, it just needs to have an on button. On. Uh, an on signal. Just just anything. It's logic. Where's logic? Uh, constant on signal. That's the one, I think. Alright, cool. Go ahead and shove that anywhere. <laughs> Doesn't really matter where it goes. So, uh, I guess... I guess we could just put them there for the looks. Even though one of them will do nothing. There we go. Good. That's it. Depth meter. Fantastic. Alright, well... Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know your thoughts on this. I don't like it being so big, but at the same time, I guess it kind of works. You know, it looks a little bit like a satellite, which would work. It would work. Um, also, people will be able to see it, which we are a civvy sub, so that's completely fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I could actually add a separate buoy for this if we wanted to, but I don't think we need it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.